<laughs> we uh we bought a trailer. <laughs> <gasps> what were we thinking? I don't know. <laughs> so today we are not in the Prius because we are in my buddy Johnny's truck <laughs> on our way to go pick up a trailer that we have bought sight unseen. <laughs> is not recommended apparently. Yeah, we've had a lot of family and friends being like, wait, you bought a camper, but you just got home. You're like, yeah, we're gonna see it for the first time today when we hook it up to Johnny's truck and bring it to the island. <laughs> so you might be wondering why did we buy a trailer sight unseen? Why would we go through this crazy process? Well, we bought it because it is a Bigfoot trailer, which is manufactured in Canada. It is very desirable. And the guy who listed it sold it for a very, very good price. And so in order to secure the spot, we had to buy it without actually seeing it. But now today is the day where we actually get to um, lay eyes on our future home. Hey, Robert, it's Levi. Yeah, yeah, I'm up and out, I'm ready for you. Oh my gosh, wow, you're, you're ready for us, are you? We're, we're 30 minutes out now. Perfect. Well, we'll uh, we'll see you in a bit then. Thank you. Bye. Bye. He specifically said, "Don't text me. Call." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, he's uh, he's a straight to the point kind of guy, which which I, I like. Yeah, there oh. it is. Oh my God! Hi, little. Oh, there's a bush. Rude bush. Hi, little trailer. You're gonna be ours. <laughs> Robert. How you doing? How you doing, man? You made it. Oh wow, it. did we ever make it, man? It's a beautiful day. Too. Holy smokes. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Thanks again. Good to meet. Good to meet. Yeah. This is my wife, Leah. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. This is Look a nice... at the floral. Oh. This is amazing. Yeah, I know that's probably, I don't know how old that is. But it was... Oh, it's perfect. I oh it. my god. I had linoleum on the floor and I ripped it up. Uh, so this is our bathroom. Leah's, Leah's, Leah's must have is the bathroom. My toilet. And actually, this is very <laughs> compact, but I'm I'm into it. Like I, you could stand in here comfortably. I know. It's too it's too much for me right now. So we have no idea how anything works, but Probably you know what? This is already. the beginning yeah, of the journey, I guess. Holy cow. <laughs> Mom, how are you feeling right now? Um, feeling good. They're talking about the brakes, so I like to listen in on that. Looks like he's rigged up a four pin, but I don't know how we're going to run the brakes. Part of this is that we don't actually know what we're doing, so we brought my mom and dad because they know a little bit more about trailer stuff, so hopefully everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to go. I, I had, it's, it's not a problem, but if I was going to do it, keep it, I would be given a pack, right? How are you feeling about your new home? Oh, it's great. I want to sleep in it. I think we are. Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh. Then we're going to bring that out. I think we got to put our heads here or else one of us is going to smack ourselves on that. 100% you want to cook a little, little turkey. Yeah, yeah, a little turkey. I love, that, yeah. I love this. This is like a detail piece. <laughs> I, I can't even... Like a wine rack. A guy could put some bottles of wine yeah, Seriously, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's that. All right, so here's kind of a moment. Um, I've never driven a truck in a trailer. I've never <laughs> attached a trailer to a truck. I've, I haven't done any of this before, so, and you know. if you haven't done it, I clearly haven't done it. All right, so uh, let's take Johnny's truck and see if we can um, get this thing hooked up. I feel good about it. I, I feel. Have, I have so much confidence Yeah, we're in gonna you. do great, yeah. That'll be great. Okay, you wanna film me fuck this up? Coming back about six inches. Okay, hold it there. We should be able to work with that. There's so much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. The, the body's so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. 
There it goes. Levi's driving it for the first time. Wow. Whee! I'm not gonna say I'm not nervous. It looks good though. Okay, so we bought the trailer like less than an hour ago. <laughs> and now we are going to back it into a campsite which is kind of like the hardest thing to do <laughs> with a trailer. I've never backed up a trailer like this before. So uh, hopefully this goes really, really great. Uh, I've also never helped someone back in a trailer. Thankfully my parents are here to uh, make it even easier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Guy and Jean are gonna set up their Prius with the tent off the back there. And Levi from this position is gonna pull forward and back into here. No pull through sights, just back in. We'll see. She looks pretty level to me. I am so impressed with you right I'm, now. I'm getting out of this vehicle right now, but I feel like it went pretty well, to be honest. Honestly, considering there's a tree and a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, is that not, um. It's a little bit rusty. <laughs> oh. Getting this. Oh, is there, is there, oh, what is going on here? Uh, no, oh, no, no, so no, tired. I know you're hot, hey, hey. And I'm hot. It's been a long day, Actually, what? Actually, you're very hot, it can no, touch me. <laughs> Sit down, we'll, we'll, we'll get this all I'll sorted. do the hammock. <laughs> oh my gosh. So have we actually been able to get the stairs out or are they rusted in place? They were out. And there's a trick, of course. So one of the upgrades that Robert supplied with us was this little stick. This is uh, clearly purpose-built to keep the door open. I don't know if we are gonna need a more high-tech version of this in the future, but right now, uh, it works, work, works like a charm, obviously. I think that's one of the craziest parts about this whole story is just how amazing Robert was. Honestly, the guy was an absolute legend. He helped us set up most of the stuff going on with this trailer. If it wasn't for him, I don't know how long it would have taken for us to actually leave his shop with this thing. And even in that, it took us three hours, but we checked the tire pressure, we checked absolutely everything, and he gave oh. us a lot of helpful information. And free stuff. So he had like a bunch yeah. of liner for all the windows that he was gonna repair, yeah. and he just gave that to us for free. He had a spare tire, he had like a frame thing to hold the spare tire in place. Like, he absolutely overloaded us with gifts. He was giving her ginger ale and stuff when it they were was, hanging out. It was very hot, and he was like, do you need something to drink? I'm like, yeah, I need to sit down in the shade. We love Robert. Hopefully your next Facebook Marketplace buy, you get somebody like Robert. Obviously we haven't had a chance to uh, clean these cushions yet. So we're just gonna put our futon directly on top of it. Do you think it'll be the same size? Uh, no, I think it's gonna be smaller, honestly. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Oh, maybe it is gonna be the same size. Oh, oh. No, no, it's a bit longer. No, it's exactly the same size. <laughs> I mean, that's really nice and it just yeah. fits. We know that we can sleep on this side of the bed. Wow, yeah, it's like damn near exactly this Wow. Thing. So the reason why we are putting the bed on top of the bed is because we don't know where the sheets have been. Robert seems like a great guy, but he used this for hunting and work yeah. camp living, I guess. Uh, so it's, it's a little worse for wear. 
Yeah, I. Uh, that's one of the first tasks I want to do is give this whole thing a deep clean. A deep clean, yeah. And that includes all of these cushion covers. Yes. I really want to keep them. I think I we gotta know. keep them. I want to know what you think though. Are they cute or are they hideous? <laughs> like, let me know what you think. Okay, this is oh. Leah testing out the old Betty Betty oh. by situation. It's so soft because there's so many layers of cream <laughs> underneath it. Wow. I mean, a Prius was good, but. Yeah, no, so this is wrong. No, I gotta sleep with that in because then I'm facing. Yeah, but I don't want our, my head. Then my head's gonna be there. And you'll just crawl over me all night? What about when we have a baby? Well, then we'll figure it out. <laughs> we uh we bought a trailer. <laughs> what were we thinking? I don't know. <laughs> All right, gang. So behind us is a 1980s Bigfoot trailer manufactured in Vernon, British Columbia, and now we are the proud owners of it. It. <laughs> We are using this microphone right now because as soon as we uh, started shooting, a generator across the street started up because they're building a deck. I'm sorry, I mean a deck. So yes, at long last, we have finally bought ourselves our next adventure rig. Um, and so far, it is just one half the trailer, which as you may be able to tell, uh, is in need of a bit of love. So. Let's take a tour. So the reason why we chose this unit in particular is because it is a fiberglass frame trailer, which means that it's very long lasting. A lot of trailers tend to uh, mold and fall apart, but fiberglass trailers don't. Being the fact that we're buying 1980s version and it's in pretty decent shape. So this is Leah's and I think mine and everybody's favorite part about this particular rig. This Canadian maple leaf is actually a stencil. It's a little piece of metal that has been riveted onto the outside, which is such a little touch of perfection for something of this era. But just wait until you get inside. So coming into the trailer, probably the first thing that you notice is the floor has been removed. This is just a plywood floor. Apparently Rob, who owned it, he did a lot of hunting. So he, um, you know, butchered things probably on this floor. So I'm kind of glad that he removed it. Uh, but clearly a lot of work to be done. But the most beautiful part is these wonderful cushions. As you can tell from everything that's in here, this is all the original stuff. Nothing has really changed since the 1980s, except for these hideous curtains, which I don't know what the original ones were, but I can only imagine these are more disgusting. But I actually really love this pattern. I think once we clean everything up, having this original piece is just gonna ugh, look so good. So in terms of general layout, this is the dinette area, which very comfortably seats four people. And this goes down, so there's a whole bed here that could sleep two adults. And then on this side is the whole kitchen setup. We looked at a ton of trailers trying to find things with a lot of counter space. So I kind of love how much there is here. Uh, there's a sink. Apparently all of these things work. That's for a future episode. Uh, an old Dometic fridge, which runs off electricity or propane. In here is the stove top with four burners. Again, runs off of propane. As we know from the RV, I don't love cooking with propane inside. So we'll see how that goes. And there's even a tiny oven, like just the babiest oven ever. Future video, we'll see if all the stuff actually works. The nice thing is there are three vents in here as well. There's one directly above the kitchen. There's one over here in front of the dinette. And there's another one in the very coveted, we need to have bathroom. <laughs> Thankfully, again, there's a skylight in here. There's this weird blue window thing again, uh, but there's a toilet and actually a decent amount of storage in here. That's like the theme of this trailer. There is storage everywhere. And after coming from the Prius, it's like, you mean we don't have to remove the seats to create more storage? It's already here. So our plan would one day be to uh, sort of improve this system so that it is uh, slightly more 
ergonomic, I guess. I, I don't know if you can say that about any sort of trailer. All right, so this is our future and, and, and current um, on the road rig. And we have plans for it, but uh, we thought it'd be good to start off this series by telling you what our plans are. Our plan is to use this rig over the summer and just see what works and if the layout is the right layout for us. We looked at a ton of different trailers because we wanted to have a place where we could have a dinette, but also have a separate sleeping area so that if it's rainy, if it's icky, we can be inside and still not have to tear down the bed all of the time major learnings from the Prius itself. And at the end of the summer, we're gonna see how much work lays ahead for us. So we don't have a specific plan on what we're going to do to this thing and how we're going to renovate it. A, because we've never done anything like that in our lives before, so we don't really know what it's going to entail, but because we also want to do a bunch of test runs in it in order to figure out what works for us. Not only do we want a bigger rig, because understandably, I am getting bigger, our family is getting bigger, so we need more space. But the next thing on our list is to find a truck that can actually tow this thing. Right now, it's in my parents' driveway, which I'm sure my father loves, loves and appreciates. Yep. Not only did we move in with them, we brought a trailer, <laughs> a 40-year-old trailer that oh. needs a lot of work. Once we got into this thing and we really started looking around, it is clear that it's just kind of shabby. Like, I think, sadly, it could be in really, really immaculate condition if it was just better taken care of over the course of its life, but there is wear and tear. And how much of this is going to need to be taken out or replaced during our renovation process is yet to be seen. So the quirks on this thing are absolutely endless, and we're really looking forward to getting into it with all of you. If you have any suggestions, feedback, or things that you would like to see us do with this thing, please let us know down in the comments. And if you are keen to see a couple of noobs try and figure out how to renovate this thing, make sure you're subscribed. Especially noobs who are pregnant. Like, this is a whole other element yeah. that I don't know how much I'll be able to do, but we will see. <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Bye.